My hair is crazy today. It's giving 90s, but I'm not mad about it. Hello, welcome back. Today we have got a spring styling slash little kind of capsule wardrobe. Like this is me testing out the bones of my spring taking us into summer capsule wardrobe, but also a little Zara haul as well, because as much as Zara, the quality has gone massively downhill. I am shopping there way less at the moment there's still some pieces that they are just producing and like the silhouettes, even if the materials aren't necessarily as they used to be and as I would hoped they would have been, there still were some pieces that looked like they could be real gems. So I did pick a few things up. So this is gonna contain a little Zara haul as well. As you can see, there's a fair bit of denim going on here. The Y2K revival is in full swing. And to be honest, I'm not mad about it because I was a teenager during like the noughties and I had no money. I couldn't buy anything at the Paris Hilton and Nicole Richie wore and I was very, very sad about it. So not really mad about this revival because it means I actually get to experience it this time around. So hopefully this gives you a little bit of inspo for spring if you were looking for that. Um, and hopefully it will just get those of us in the UK or colder countries that are like struggling to get through this kind of winter to spring transition. Hopefully this gives you some inspo for spring and just mentally gets us through these last kind of few weeks of very, very wintry weather. Honestly, planning this is all that got me through the cold snap that we have had recently. By the way, the light is going crazy. The weather is really trying to spring, but winter has like a real grip right now. So it's just like, it's almost like a strobe light effect going on with the sun popping in and out right now but yeah anyway intro over if you're new please subscribe to my channel and yeah let's get into it so i'm not going to do this in any particular order i'm just going to kind of go through the spring pieces and spring outfits i love as i go and the first item that i thought i would show you is the one that i am obviously wearing this is part of my zara order it's this oversized denim shirt in a gorgeous kind of vintage blue i want to say i don't maybe it's not vintage blue i'm not sure but it's one of my favorite shades of denim and one that i think really really suits me especially now that my hair is darker I'm really really loving this kind of denim tone and i'm wearing it with another item which is newer into my wardrobe and this is a denim midi skirt from hush i got this on john lewis i will link similar because i think it's sold out basically uh these midi skirts have been an absolute nightmare to get hold of tends to me buying from a brand that I would not normally buy from on John Lewis it's a very random purchase for me but I was looking for a skirt for reference I'm five foot two if you are new here that naturally was a bit shorter I know it won't look it on me right now but this on the model genuinely came just below the knee and that was the reason that I bought it because I was seeing all of the other ones on and other stories on Reformation Zara and they all came to the model's ankle which on me if a model's five foot nine and I'm five foot two we can guesstimate there's going to be roughly like seven inches of extra material and the skirt will be dragging on the floor so i went for something that looked a lot shorter on the model and almost didn't look how i wanted it to look but it's meant that it's the perfect length and i have absolutely loved wearing it with my cowboy boots because it has the slit at the front you get a lot of like opportunity to see your to really see your footwear i wore this the other day and just made sure that i put a super long coat over the top so that you couldn't really see like too much layering going on that kind of look really really doesn't suit me so if you're looking to wear this as a winter to spring outfit that is how i would recommend wearing it right now this time of year i could not recommend like a super super long maxi coat more because you can kind of wear whatever you want underneath and it's not going to interfere with the look underneath the shirt i've got my white low eve tank which i am just obsessed with this is going to be a staple for me throughout the spring but honestly any white tank will give the same effect in my last vlog you will have seen this outfit if you watched is it the last vlog? Maybe the vlog before? Oh my God, I don't even know. My brain is spinning. I've filmed so much in the past couple of weeks, I don't even know where I'm at. Um, but I will link the vlog where you will have seen this before. Spoiler, if you don't watch the vlogs, you get a lot of stuff early. In my last vlog, I just wore this look, but with a regular kind of white tank top underneath. And it's just a really, really affordable one, I think from like H&M or Zara or something like that. And I also 
wore this look with my Prada Clio bag. I feel like any bag goes with this outfit. On those slightly cooler summer days, I think this would be a great one, especially because you can just, if it gets too hot, take the shirt off and then you've just got a little tank underneath. And depending on the temperature, the boots can also be switched out as well. But the boots also make it a great one for if the weather's a bit temperamental and we're getting a bit of rain as well. This, this is a great kind of rainy day summer outfit. So I love the midi skirt, but I also have this from Zara as well. And I think this could be really cool. This is a cargo mini skirt from Zara, which I just, something about it spoke to me. I think it's this tone of blue because I have it in so many different items now, like this little denim hat, which I'm obsessed with. And I just think would go so well with so many of the outfits in this video. So we're adding another very blue denim into the wardrobe. This skirt is a really great one as well because it will take you from spring into summer. Oh, is it a bit big? I think it's meant to be more and more low, so I think it's okay. I would probably wear this with a slightly longer tank top or some kind of t-shirt underneath because I just don't think I want this much stuff. Like I like a little bit of tummy on show, but like not this much. I actually think this could look cool with like a blazer or a leather bomber jacket. I actually have this leather bomber which is from Zara so we can give that a try if not I think a blazer would definitely work with this I actually really like this bomber like the shoulders I don't know if it, it's meant to be quite oh yeah it's got padding oh fun no I think the structured shoulder and the low rise is too much it kind of gives this appearance of like me being quite wide I'm gonna try maybe a grey Laser. So we're gonna try this t-shirt that I actually picked up quite recently and it's from Topshop and I've been seeing these t-shirts around so much They're basically like the old-school Regular fit like tight on the boobs and then looser down the bottom kind of t-shirts and at first I was like I'm not sure but I put it on with a pair of low-rise uh, black jeans like they're super super low-rise and I loved it so yeah that is the t-shirt and the skirt together and then we're gonna throw on the blazer to be honest this might be what i needed i think this could maybe save it otherwise i just don't think the cargo skirt is gonna make it into my spring capsule wardrobe but yeah i think it definitely needs a little bit less tummy showing okay i love it with the denim shirt now that we've got the gray t-shirt on i've kept my cowboy boots on and i just want to be really cliche and throw in the Dior saddlebag as well. But yeah, I absolutely love this. I think this t-shirt has just made me absolutely love this skirt. I need to get like a couple more basic t-shirts like this because I think if low rise is now a thing, that's definitely going to be something that I'm going to need. I think a lot of my cropped items are maybe a bit too cropped. Love this t-shirt. The fit of it is so nice. Whilst I've got the Zara blazer out, I want to show you a couple of outfits that I love wearing this with so this actually i bought this from zara in the autumn time and it came with a matching score as well i believe they still do variants of this so if i can find any i will link them i love wearing it with the matching score and my cowboy boots it's just one of my absolute favorite ways to wear it whether i wear the blazer open with a t-shirt like this or i wear like nothing underneath it keep it closed and like make it look a little bit more dressy i absolutely love that combo but for now whilst it's still a little bit chilly i am loving wearing it with these jeans these are from holland cooper these are the slim jean in the vintage blue i also have these in the black now which i'm so excited about and i'll show you the black with this outfit as well i love it with the blue jean and then with my cowboy boots so much like the cowboy boots really pop against this if i could recommend one investment for your wardrobe this year it would be a cowboy boot i got these last autumn from urban outfitters and i have worn them non-stop i adore them if i lost everything in my wardrobe i think these are one of the first things i would go out and immediately repurchase because they're just everything they work with so much in my wardrobe and they're great for like varying weather situations as well they keep my feet fairly warm and they're also incredibly comfortable so there's literally nothing that i do not love about my cowboy boots i got these jeans in a size 8 and they fit so well they're that perfect like fitted but like they've got a good bagginess to them but they're not too baggy so that they tuck 
perfectly into boots and that was something that I've really been after because I love my cowboy boots and I love my black Stuart Wiseman boots which are over there and I really wanted to wear them with a jean but I didn't want to wear them with a skinny jean that was too tight and the only skinny jeans I had were and then it made the look look a little bit dated and this is kind of the more modern way to do a skinny jean now is to take that slim fit that's just got a little bit more room in it than a skinny jean and they're way comfier if i'm honest so i'm totally on board with it i love this look it's so casual and comfy but still looks put together i also think it looks really cute with a baseball cap as well excuse my hair i feel like i've just done that really badly so yeah this the dior saddlebag i just absolutely love this look it is my perfect spring outfit and a really nice update i think on your classic like skinny jeans blazer boots kind of outfit so if that is a go-to for you and you're looking for a way to update it this is something that i would definitely recommend however i have another alternate option for you if this is like not quite your vibe this gives me real rich mum in the late 90s kind of vibes i adore this i've been so looking forward to throwing this look on this is one of those ones that i've had in my head for a couple of weeks and it just looks exactly how i hoped it would i'm so happy with this so these are the same holland cooper slim fit jeans in washed black they very kindly sent these over to me and i'm so happy because they're like my favorite style of jeans like honestly these jeans are literally like the nicest fit like not too tight if i wanted them more fitted i could definitely do a six but i love like that they've still got a little bit of room around the waist and i love that they kind of have a slight bagginess to them over the hips i think it looks quite flattering that way but they're not too baggy on the leg that they look a bit stupid when i tuck them into boots and i'm so happy about that because they look perfect with my stuart wiseman boots which have fast become one of the best shoe purchases that i have ever made i adore these it's a really lovely classic timeless outfit but that doesn't feel too plain or too boring and i really love that um i'm also wearing it with my prada clio because again i think that's a real like it's kind of like giving 90s but it doesn't because it's black it also feels kind of timeless but the shape and the material and the fact that it's just prada in general i always find the prada logo gives me 90s vibes but the whole overall shape and finish of the bag is giving 90s and i think it works so nicely with this look so yeah obsessed with this i also think that this kind of combo would look really good with a leather jacket as well what should we go for i've got the two so i've got this one which is also from zara and it's new and it is stunning so it's like a brownie so it's not a black it's like a washed brown i want to say but i sorry i'm really washing myself up i adore this the fit of it is stunning so i'll show it to you um i also want to see how this one looks because i don't know i didn't love it earlier so i want to know if that's like a fluke and it just wasn't right with the outfit or maybe i actually just don't love the jacket and it doesn't suit me so let's see what do we think i'm gonna try the other one on to compare i actually tried this one on last week but with a different outfit and i loved it so i think my allegiance is with this one slightly more i haven't taken any of the bits of paper off yet Ooh, i don't know can you please let me know what you think i think i prefer this one and i have been looking the reason i got this is because i've been looking for a new leather jacket because my old one i love it's very oversized but it falls very straight and i liked the fact that this one was a bit more rounded and i think this one's a bit more versatile than the bomber because it doesn't have the structured shoulders so yeah let me know what you think of this one you know what this does look really cute with though this little denim bag this is another part of my zara haul and i'm just so obsessed with this it's the cutest thing it's a mini bag but it's still big enough that i can fit my vlogging camera phone keys that kind of situation in there i love the wash denim it's giving like jacquemus vibes but at a fraction of the price and i love it and i think a denim bag like this is a really nice way to um add a little bit more 
of a like current trend into your spring wardrobe but without like going crazy buying loads of new pieces and whilst denim is obviously trending again right now it's come back with a real bang i don't really feel like denim ever goes out of style but this is like a nice nod to it but without having to like really lean into it too heavily and it's also in that denim shade that i just love so much i think i like the leather jacket i've just tried it on with my gray t-shirt and then these jeans which are also i think from topshop on asos and i think it looks really cute i've got a pair of heels on which are really old topshop because the jeans are very long but yeah i absolutely love this look i think this would be such a nice one for spring on those chillier days so interrupting the nice kind of slightly more classic timeless spring outfits to bring you silver jeans <laughs> this is not necessarily an area of uh, spring styling that I feel like I have a grasp on right now. I'm kind of just trying things and yeah, just throwing everything at the wall and seeing what sticks with this. If you watch the vlogs, you've seen me styling this with like the lower bay tank top and a blue uh, oversized shirt, which is lovely. I thought I'd also give you something a little bit more casual. So we have my silver trousers, jeans, whatever you want to call them. These are from Diesel. I don't know if I recommend them. They do make a little bit of sticking noises. I don't know if I love that. These feel like a leather trouser, but they don't quite have the swishiness when you walk. So if you're buying silver trousers, though, definitely pay attention to the finish of them. But I've paired them with an oversized jumper, which I think is from Mad Other Stories. And I've gone for a grey, but like a darker grey, just to kind of create some contrast. I did try this with the... Where is it? Oh yeah, this grey blazer, but they're almost too close in tone, like the grey is too close to the silver. Um, you want a darker grey, the darker the better really, like I think a charcoal grey works really nicely. I have also just paired it with a pair of trainers just to kind of keep that really casual feel. We could go with a plain black bag with silver hardware, or we can add in the Zara denim bag, which will kind of make this a little bit more trend led. Which would you go for? I'd really love to know. I personally think I prefer the black, it's just a little bit more low-key and I really like that given the trousers are the statement part of this outfit and then everything else is just really contrasting that, super paired back, really really simple and yeah I think that's the best way to style silver trousers if you're kind of looking for some inspo right now just strip everything back, make everything else super casual unless you're going out, in which case I would go for like a black blazer and some heels and just let these kind of still do the talking in all cases basically let these do the talking yeah this is my little nod to silver trouser styling for spring and this is a really nice one because these because of the material will keep me quite warm and then the jumper on the top will keep me nice and warm as well so a really great one for the cooler spring days so if you've watched this channel for a long time you will know that one of my favorite spring outfit combinations one of my go-to's every year is just a simple blue jeans, oversized black blazer and trainers kind of look. Last year, it was my Zara blazer, a white crop top, high-waisted light blue mom jeans, and then my Nike Dunks. And this year, I have a slightly different variation on that look. The jeans in question are from ASOS. These are low-rise cargo jeans, and I got them in petite, so they are like the perfect length and because they're a wider leg they look really really good with just a nice pair of chunky trainers so i think this is going to be like my go-to spring blazer look for this season and this is one of those outfit combinations that i don't really think about too much when i'm wearing it i don't think like oh this is a look but whenever i look back i always look at these kind of very simple outfits and i'm like god i love that I, that look really suits me i look really good in that so it's one that i've just made a point of repeating year after year after year and it's just kind of become a fail safe for me now whenever i don't know what to wear i throw an outfit like this on and i just always feel good you could also dress this up as well like i did with the top shop washed black jeans uh throw them on with a pair of boots and then an oversized leather jacket but to segue out of this i thought i would take a moment whilst i have the black blazer on to show you a very very classic fail safe favorite spring outfit of mine but that has a little bit of a twist it's one that is actually a really nice one to go from winter into spring with this is probably my number one favorite winter to spring i'm trying to make sure i'm not flashing you transitional outfit i have got my zara black blazer on and i've then got this sleeveless vest jumper 
kind of thing with a zip collar and it is so great for layering uh with outfits like this where you don't want your arms to look super bulky and you don't like the jacket is quite thin so wearing a knit underneath it can be quite tricky they generally have to be quite tight and very very thin but this is like so warm and snuggly and keeps you warm where you need to kind of be kept warm and then i've just got a t-shirt on underneath so that if i want to i can just have like the t-shirt and a skirt the tights and a boot so the outfit has like a lot of layers to it which makes it great for this time of year i just do the little button up on the blazer and this is how the overall outfit looks and this is the matching skirt as well you can't really see very much because it's literally just all black it's a really nice easy timeless one it's all black which i love it's got a good amount of layering to it i've also gone for some very sheer tights but you can go for a slightly thicker tight this is just literally what i had to hand and then i've got my all saints chunky boots on as well which i just absolutely love i also love wearing my snood with this outfit um it's one that i generally wear more if i have like my hair curly because um when it's straight it's just kind of not really giving um i need some more like layers to my hair so that i have kind of more wispy bits <laughs> The great thing about there being a zip on this as well as I can zip up all my hair into it if I don't want my hair to be like flying around. And then we have our little snud. Like I said, I like to have like curlier kind of wispy pieces. I think it just looks a little bit better, but still something here because if I put it all back, I literally look like an egg, especially because this is a beige snud, um, but it helps keep me so warm. So yeah, this is a really nice outfit to have to hand because as the weather gets warmer you can kind of lose layers um i also just love how the snud looks when it's just around the neck as well and again it's still giving a lot of warmth and i normally just throw on like a black bag and yeah the little egg is good to go i love a cute pair of sunnies with it as well for real like please don't talk to me vibes it's the best thing i genuinely when i first wore this in a vlog i thought i was going to be absolutely dumped on by everyone watching like i thought everyone was just going to be like what is that outfit but so many of you said that you loved it so that made me really happy because I really love it too. Another item that I've added into my wardrobe for this spring is a pair of green cargo pants. I loved the cream cargo pants that I had last summer. They're everything. I had so much fun at styling those up, like little white crop top, pops of color. It was one of my summer style highlights and I got the green because I feel like they're such a classic and such a staple that even when they're not like trendy anymore, I can keep them. The color's so timeless. I'm sure I'll get wear out of them again. So I'm excited to wear these a lot over the spring and then into the summer as well. The majority of the items that I integrate into my wardrobe for the spring also work for the summer months as well. But anyway, I picked up this pair from ASOS, but it's Bershka on ASOS. Uh, I think I got a size 36 and I really love these because they don't actually need a belt because they have this inside tie waist. Why do more things not come with this? It's such a genius idea. So you can really fit these like perfectly to your waist. It's just so genius. I'm pairing them with my white tank top because they're high waisted so it can kind of take it. And then I've got a white pair of trainers on as well. And then I'm thinking black blazer just to kind of add in something classic that doesn't feel too trendy that kind of makes it a bit more timeless much like with uh the low rise blue cargo jeans these are a little bit long but i think i might just take them up a fraction just a fraction and um, just so we don't get too much bulking at the bottom but yeah i love this look it's just a really nice way to integrate something that is currently quite trendy into your wardrobe using pieces that you already have i also think the denim bag could be cute with this just adds a little touch of like texture and again a little nod to current trends but without being too over the top i also think that these could be really fun and just worn super super casually you can really play about with layering with these i have actually been dying to see what these look like with my birkenstocks that are just like the slide on ones and then like an oversized denim shirt i think it could be it could either be a disaster or it could be really cool so we're gonna give it a go now honestly so much of this video is done on the fly videos like these really are just a work in progress if you want like the final finesse outfits watch the what i wore in a week that i produced like throughout a season or the vlogs that's when they're like being tried and tested in actual spring as opposed to the first time i'm pulling things together what do we think you know what my hair needs a brush but i actually i don't hate this 
I think it's kind of cool. It's just like super laid back, really chill. I feel like this is one of those outfits that if you saw it on someone who's really cool, you'd be like, that's such a cool outfit. But on me, I just don't have that like, you know, for like a casual cool outfit. I feel like I always need something a bit structured mixed in. But maybe let's try it with a leather jacket. What do we think? Like the structured leather bomber jacket or do we go for the, the classic one? I'm just not sure this jacket is the one for me, you know? I think the shoulders might actually be a bit too much. Let's see the more classic oversized one. I've just watched that footage back and I actually don't know which one I prefer. So you guys can let me know on this one. This next outfit, I haven't really finessed yet. So I don't actually have a jacket option for this yet. So this could be more of a like, spring transitioning into summer like warm spring day kind of outfit some of you may remember this from a couple of hauls back i tried this on and annoyingly it was way too big for me so i picked it up in the extra small and i think it fits much better i'm gonna see if i can adjust the back a little bit so it's still got a bit of room around the shoulders which is a little bit annoying but it fits much much better around the waist so I will work with that. This is one of those outfits that feels so alien for me to wear, but when I look at it back, I love it. Honestly, I think this needs quite careful styling, to be honest, because it's really giving it's Britney. What do we think? Is it too much? And what on earth do I wear over the top of this? Do I go for like a Burberry trench? I am not sure, but I'm open to suggestions. <laughs> I feel like we're 50% of the way there with this one, so, watch this space, come back to see how I style it up over spring summer. And finally, I picked up this set from Zara and I am so excited to try it on. The trousers actually look really, really nice. They're like a gorgeous, taupey, beigey color. Almost like a beigey clay kind of color or stone. What are we, I don't, I don't know. I think these could be worn with a lot of items. I got them in a size small. And then I got the top. Did I get the top in a small? Yeah, I got the top in a small. I think it's sold out at the moment though. So at least if it doesn't fit me and you're a small and you want this, it may be coming back to Zara if this doesn't fit. I just think it could look so cool with just a pair of like really simple nude little flats or a pair of heels to kind of dress it up. Okay. <laughs> Why is everything so long? Does this have pockets? I don't even know. No, no pockets. Okay. Minus points. Honestly, I don't even know if I like this. There's a lot of material. Like, there's too much material for me to actually be able to tell how I feel in this item of clothing. The trousers are definitely going to need taking up. But as for the overall sizing, I think it fits okay. Like, the trousers are, I would say, big. I don't feel like they're meant to sit where they're sitting. They're kind of just on my hips right now but it really they look really really awkward so not really sure on that but the top fits fine so it makes me wonder if the trousers are like are these meant to be low waist or not because they're not gonna they're not gonna sit on my waist but they're also not gonna be high waisted i don't know but yeah the top fits quite nicely i think it's hard to tell there's just so much material going on i feel like this is giving serious y2k vibes but at the same time it also i don't know if it's because of the color but it looks like really almost a bit chic i don't know i don't know how i feel about this i need you guys to i need you guys to help me i need input what do we think like i love it but i'm also at the same time like what is this where would i wear this like what scenario i think like a girl's brunch this could be really cute like a day drinking scenario you know i also don't know what length to take these up to because i would kind of love them with these this may really trigger some core memories for some of you especially if you grew up in the uk and you went to school in the early 2000s because these were a staple i was actually sadly not allowed to have these for school because um they were too flimsy and they fall apart too quickly so i had like the suede boots with the buckles and i wore them even in the summer so i have actually never owned a ballet flat but i picked these up off of free people and these are like buttery soft these are not gonna blister me like they're just so incredibly soft i love them and i really thought these could be so cute with this outfit there's just too much <laughs> there's just too much material going on here <laughs> you can't even really see but i thought the ballet flats would work really nicely just with like a real wide leg 
trouser kind of situation so you're barely like seeing them they're not the main focus of the outfit they're just kind of poking out what do we think also i just need to interject here because this is what i mean about when i say sometimes in zara halls that i get stuck in tops because i can't like zara do this thing where they have like the zip and then it doesn't completely unzip and i think my shoulders are just quite wide for my body so i basically i can't i can't the amount of times I have nearly had to cut myself out of things. I actually think once I did have to cut myself out of something. <laughs> I need to call Ryan. But that lovely little wardrobe malfunctioning outfit is going to conclude our spring styling video for today. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Love you, bye.